Once you have the offer, the whole thing is to go get case studies. Go get case studies, especially about the blue. That's what they really want, right? Case studies about click funnels, not necessarily Seinfeld secrets, right? The bonuses he tosses in. I don't see too many testimonials about Seinfeld secrets. <laughs> I see a lot about click funnels, okay? So go get testimonials about your prolific visionary product. Go do it for people. Go do it for people for free. Um, in fact, that's actually why I built a lot of funnels for free for quite a while is because I knew I needed the story, all right? And so I continued. That's also the reason I was broke for a while. If you can get paid, get paid, all right? I didn't learn how to charge. I had a lot of money false beliefs to overcome. But what I was trying to do also is I was, I was trying to figure out who can I go share this with? How can I get success for somebody so that it's way easier to sell the next person? And what the issue was that I was having is I kept building for companies that weren't companies. I mean, they, they, they didn't even have an idea, right? And, and I didn't know how to guide them through it. And I didn't have any resources or like a Rolodex to help them through it. Like I didn't have any of that stuff. Um, and so a lot of times they'd be like, the funnel doesn't work. And I'd be like, you don't, you don't have like a domain name, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> anyway, it's like, why do I got to pay for this click funnels thing? Let's just sell through Shopify or a website. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't really want to build for you anymore. Right? So I had a who problem. As soon as I changed my who to an existing customer of ClickFunnels or an existing company who at least had somewhat of a customer base, suddenly I started getting a lot more. But what was cool is when I actually got that first stu case study and story, that's exactly what I treated it as. And it became the case study that basically got me the job to work at ClickFunnels. Um, but it took like a year and a half for me to do that. Okay. So the moment you have an offer, go and get case studies and testimonials. Um, and continue to tweak and update the offer as you go. I wanna give you guys a really cool way to go and get testimonials as well. Um, we, we, I've done this several times now. Usually, okay, so you're gonna have this big old list of objections, right? Who, who actually does this? Anyone have a list of objections from your customers? Oh, nice, super cool. Okay, you guys are ahead of the curve, that's awesome. So what's cool is like, start keeping track of these objections. And at one point I had a whole whiteboard with very small writing filled with objections and false beliefs and, and reasons to not buy and, you know, uh, anyway. So what I went and did is I grabbed the top few and that's what I used to create the VIE product. But there's still all these other valid ones. What do I do with them? So what we started doing, so start, I started creating mini courses around that. And then I would go and sell that for like $57 before the webinar in order to pay for the ad cost of the webinar. Does it make sense? Anyone buy chatbots for MLM? 100% that's what that is, right? Have you guys seen the video for that either? All right, we've got two things I gotta share with you then. Okay, Stop. it's literally a webinar. Yeah, Stop, I'm Steve, this is a pig. <laughs> that's how I started. <laughs> okay, that's my hook. It does well, and that thing has made like 200 grand. It's pretty much paid for all the ads for to, in order to sell Secret MLM Hacks. So pretty much Secret MLM Hacks has been pure, pure profit. Um, so, but what I did though, is I took that thing and I told my existing buyers, hey, I got this great thing coming out. It's gonna be $57. I will give it to you for free. If you take your phone out, flip it sideways and tell me what your experience has been inside the course. You gotta get it to me before tomorrow at midnight though. All right, tons of testimonials, lots of them. Okay, we got 40 epic ones. And what did I do with them? Put them on the sales page. I went back into the funnel. And I went to all the follow-up sequences and I went to all the promo sequences and I just dropped them in there with no explanation. Just bam, 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 bam. This is a really easy way to go grab testimonials for those of you guys who already have a customer base. I call it a testimonial campaign. Okay, go grab a testimonial campaign and go back and dump them back in. You're gonna see your sales go significantly up because now you're not the only voice anymore. So anyway, I, I, love, I love doing this.